Barry was one of the hardest hit areas during July's historic flooding and three months later, community members are getting together again to help state and city leaders better understand their current challenges and come up, come up with a plan for the future. NBC Vice Tyler Boronsky went down to Barry for the event to find out how they plan to move forward. For the second time in a month, state and city leaders met with Barry community members to talk about the flood recovery efforts. This time around, the conversation centered around the current challenges residents face and what solutions are on the table to help with rebuilding. The physical pain of July's devastating floods is still with Lawrence Bergeron. I got too close and I got sucked in and dragged about a half a mile down in the water. Bergeron and others who live in Barrie made their way to the Opera House on Wednesday to bounce around ideas in small group discussion where they talked about Barrie's housing, social well-being and infrastructure planning. We really need to go deeper with people. We really need to hear what they want us to do in these three big areas. The flooding did an estimated $90 million in damage across Barrie. The city's annual budget is roughly $13 million. Let me tell you something about housing costs, about the high cost of housing. It is real, it is permanent, and we have to figure out a way to deal with it. The other issue we have, we do not have enough contractors. Some community members say the city should focus on building smaller and cheaper. Quantity is more important at this time. I don't think we always need to be big and massive. And, and you know, you mentioned the cost per square foot. Um, people would be happy with tiny homes. People would be happy with small apartment units. There's plenty of people who are struggling and suffering right now who just want any tiny little corner of this part of the world to call their own. Marty Tatro believes any worker shortage could be solved by giving those on the streets an opportunity and a purpose. Get the people that are homeless, that are capable of working in these areas. Bergeron says there needs to be more services available to help those going through what can be a traumatic experience. A lot of people lost their homes completely, and I'm sure that that's affecting their mental health. Last week, city councilors asked state officials for funding help. The state says they're doing their best to get those funds to the city as soon as possible. In Barrie, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.